Hey now, I'm gonna show you guys some of the fun stuff here. Uh, let's get this out of the way. So, the work area, majority for at least like the soldering. Some of the tools, shout out to the main man, Alan Forbes, out of San Francisco, Mission District, I believe. Got some tunes. We'll get to that stuff. Remember these guys? Why do I have so many and what color am I gonna pick for these? The, um, when I have instruments and several of them, especially ones that I use all the time, uh, I'm naming, not naming, but writing oldest. And obviously they get duller and can see it from how much nail polish is left you know I need to touch these up so to say but I'll keep track of what they are from this and then I got some new bad boys <clears throat> I use Megami lead material we'll look at all the other stuff or maybe point it out 25 24 is the mainstay for the um, instrument leads when I was redoing this entire area it was nothing this is the very first thing that I put on and this has turned out to be extremely useful over here. Got a $100 Craigslist purchase. Some sand art. That keyboard right there is something I drew for. I'm sorry, I don't know his name, but the keyboardist of Turn, 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 Minneapolis band. You should check him out with Adam Levy, Savannah Smith, and Barbara. I can't remember his spell your last name, Burn. I'm sorry. Anyways, this is where we keep a lot of my mainstays. Shout out to GNH. I'm still waiting for that right angle TRS plug. They make, as far as I'm concerned, the best plugs in the industry. Um, I use Square Plugs, who do not have an Instagram account to my knowledge, I've looked several times. Um, there's two different sizes for them, but the uh, I don't use the fours or the 400s. Um, just show you guys what's up. So there's, there's nickel, there's black <clears throat> for each of these. Nickel. Uh, there's a couple newer ones out in the industry, not this brand, but you know this at one point in time was touted to be um, lowest profile in the industry. The, um, so they come, there's both nickel and black for each of the two different varieties. Those are called flapjacks, whereas these, which are short barrel straights, are called stumpies. That'll come into play in terms of like, when I show you guys some patch cables here in just a moment. So. Um, I used both of these for setting up switchers, and um, they both work great. Uh, I personally, for my own, used the um, short barrel straights coming out of the RJM. So, plug to you guys. The um, <clears throat> Switchcraft is an amazing company. They've been around, I can't tell you how long, but um, they make great stuff, and I utilize a lot of their hardware for a lot of my builds. So, got some great Switchcraft products there. The, um, I don't know if this is necessarily like the best or most efficient. I need to touch these up and there's actually like a video earlier about um, JB Weld. And I need to do it for some of these. Anyways, go check that video out. This, um, I don't know if this is the best helping hand, so to say, a lot of people, it depends on what you're using it for. Um, I kind of just went with it because I got it. Uh, a lot of people use like a, a lot of people use something like this, but smaller, um, so to say, for doing their stuff. I, I've made this work. I know how to, I know what's flaws, so to say, or what to do. And you just, most of the time, get three points of fixation. And uh, usually it's two for that when I'm, Actually, and I've got them all tech flexed up. 
I put the, I drape something like this over it so I don't splatter flux. That stuff is gross and needs to be changed. The, um, these are two ventilator units, which you need to do if you want to breathe later in life, uh, or now. Um, this is a wonderful Weller unit. This is an older model. Um, it is digital, but, and they have a newer model too. The, um, so that's that part. This is the really fun stuff. These are hand-painted housings. So, I've had two, two different artists, painters. These are from Laura Bennett. She's an amazing artist and person. She's um, based out of Minneapolis. Let's check them out. And then these are from Liz Lavic. We'll check those out in just a moment too. So, <clears throat> these these are all hand painted. They're um, uh, each one is signed as well by each of the painters artists. When I have two of uh, when I have two of one different kind, uh, it doesn't make sense either. For example, like this, when they're very very similar, um, I usually reserve those for a double decker, one for each end. Some of them, and I apologize for the glare and the light. Um, some of them are still pretty similar, even though these are a little dissimilar. Um, and I don't know if I'd necessarily pair those together, but in terms of the space that I have, that's um, where I put them right now. The, let's check these out. Uh, part of what makes um, her art, and especially art for this, uh, wonderful is just how many you know different colors she'll pull um, they're just these are just so phenomenal and when it comes to and I'm going to show you guys in just a moment the different tech flexes or at least you know, an overview um, pairing these with them is just probably the most fun part of all of this I would want to see what, like, in this instance, what red and yellow, these tech flexes look like. This one in particular, the yellow, looks like candy. Looks so wonderful. <clears throat> so these two, even though that they have a lot of the same colors, even with, like, the black base, and they look very similar, um, some of Laura's work is more of these, like, brush strokies, which is wonderful, but some are more dots, so I would not pair these two together. I would not recommend it, but I would not pair them together. This, there's one that looks like candy corn. I think it's actually that one. Yeah. There's a little shout out for Halloween. As Richard Christie would say, it's my favorite holiday, which I know it is actually, or Christmas. Hey now. So, this one's actually taken. I really, really liked. That didn't help. I like these. I personally think that, for example, the pink would look better on this one compared to that one. But there's only one way to find out, and that's to mock it up, make a, um, then I would actually take the lead material, um, and thread it through. I'll show you guys in a second. So, someone was looking at these. These actually would look great together. I have some ideas about color too. Those would look great together. I love it when she uses um, other, you know, uh, colors, for example, like the pink highlights in there stand out to me. I would want to see what that looks like with pink. <laughs> the, the 
this too. This one looks more like candy corn. And the yellow when it's when it's um all dressed up with attack flex, it just like I said, it just really looks like candy. Much more so than the other ones. <laughs> They don't make a light blue, they make an aqua. I'll show you guys the colors in just a moment of the Tech Flex. So that's Laura's work. It's wonderful. Sorry, the OCD is kicking in. All right, so. Liz it's art by Lizzle at art by Lizzle if I'm not L I Z Z L E. So Liz's work, um, there's two main like not varieties, but like styles that she does. Her first or her initial batch, most of it was the this type, so to say, that um it was it they're more brush strokey a lot of different colors and part of um i mean that's what i like and think of her work and why it's amazing is that she'll use just so many different i mean everything's great but i just love how there's these other colors that she pulls and in, in terms of what i do with the you know pairing these with different um colors of tech flex it's it's just a lot of fun to you know look at them and see what they what they look like with certain ones. I'll show you that once I we're done looking at the uh, housings. I tried grouping them in terms of you know some sort of order, but I think it worked out. <laughs> this is one of her newer ones, even though that um, we'll get to her other style in just a second. But um, she did give me this one recently, and so once again, sorry about the glare. I get in front of it. It's still kind of hard to see, and I apologize for the lighting. There's um, definitely like some purples, not just the lighter one, but even like the the darker one actually is purple. I just don't think it's going to really show up with this lighting. I'm sorry. Um, I love it when my painters make me ones that look very similar to make into double deckers. Um, I usually ask for it, but I love it every time they do it. Um, that's of course one wood housing on each end. This is one of her newer ones that she sent. She sent one like this. Some brush strokes going on. And then this one, so her second style, as you can tell, these speckled, um, the second batch that she produced, she, um, she showed me that and I didn't even, you know, I don't, you know ask a, an artist to do too much. Um, specifically the uh so these are and you know she knows how um much i really really like them like working with them this is one of her newer ones too and it just looks fabulous they all look fabulous <clears throat> this one i had uh and she'll give me like inverse ones um for example that there was one with a blue background and then with red speckles and um and i made that with red i think there's a, a post uh, about that it went, went out west the um all of the housings are signed as i said that's gonna, that's gonna be fun to to do um other work of hers. Once again, I tried grouping them. These were the, some of the blues. I don't know if I'd pair these together. These are more, um, that's more rush strokey, whereas that's more like, um, single dots, so to say. Um, but they're like same colors and they're short for space. These look amazing. And that one especially looks amazing. I don't know what I would do with that one. 
I mean, definitely. And I've got a ton of, I mean, there's three different grays that I have to work with. Um, <clears throat> we'll get into that. These I wouldn't pair together. This one has, it's a little more brush strokey, whereas that one's a little more just like single dots, even though that they're like the same color base. Same as this. I mean, could I? Would I? Sure. If somebody wanted it, but um, I mean, if I was doing this myself, I would not pair those together. This one looks fantastic, too. They all look fantastic. I'm sure I said that, and we'll say it more. This is great. This is one of our newer ones, too. I did say I wanted some bright colors, and sometimes, and I don't have one here because I used my last one, um, but she can always make more, is uh, the rainbows that she'll make. And I also used my last one of the um, metallics, specifically the golds that she did um, inverse with, um, black with gold metallic, um, which I was able to pair really well with this particular color of the Teclex, and then gold base with black speckles was fantastic this reminds me of if you go to like a dentist office where they haven't really redecorated since the 80s or so maybe early 90s like some of the artwork you might find there or if you're at um someone's house who hasn't really redecorated since then and maybe in their basement they've got like a couch that looks like those colors i can't wait to do this one really i can't the um Let's see what else we got. I think this is, might be better. Sorry, I just figured it out. And see, like, she'll put, like, that little bit of, like, red or pinkish in that. It's just phenomenal. This one here, gold-ish little stuff going on. This one's got some green in it. It's kind of hard to tell what it does. And even the darkness, you know, throughout is great. And there's another green one with some yellow this is for a uh, project that I'm doing highly classified I promise this is the last one you don't have to look at this stuff anymore these are wonderful like all of them purples so to say i made one that was like similar similar colors as this but it was going lines kind of diagonal and then that went out it's wonderful it went out less too this both of these you know it's kind of hard to tell but there's some purple going on in the lower one too but this one is just i can't wait to use that got some pinks ish Still some pinks going on. This one is beautiful. These, and I, what I really see, like, look, she's got blue going on down there. It's just great. And I mean, you know, the grays there. I mean, she's just such a good art. She's just such a great, amazing artist. It's so much fun to work with her. I've known her for like, I think about 16 years. individual these look great i don't know if i'd pair these together but they're you know, i was just short for space i certainly wouldn't pair those together I think the pink's carried over to here that looks phenomenal some kind of orangish i would consider pairing those together this one looks great I would not pair these together. And so that's the hand-painted housings. The fun part, and I'm, what I do and I'm gonna make a bunch up, is that I get to select from this stuff. So, this stuff's called TechFlex. The company is called TechFlex. They, um, they're great. They're based out of New Jersey. Um, 
it's going to be really hard to see just under this light and i usually um, mock up and if you go on the website there's a colors available and i the pictures are from what it'll actually look like meaning that i put the cable material through them and then shot the photos um, to get a real feel for what that color will look like because you know and if i showed you the light's not i mean you know, if i showed you up close it's just really you can't really, I mean, yeah, you can see what color it is, but you can't really get a true representation because if you have it with the cable material in, I mean, you're going to see what it actually looks like really quickly. And once again, it's better pictures on the site. Neon green, neon orange. I'm not going to name all these though. Renee, neon red. Aqua up there. This is dark purple. Got some Paige McConnell neon yellow, which looks great with the lead material, highlighter yellow. This is purple. There's some back there, but I don't want them all to fall. Um, carbon, which is, they're, they're kind of hard to see without that stuff. It's not available. Beige, which looks phenomenal, especially paired with a lot of these housings. And so, some of them here, I keep on talking about yellow how it looks like candy and it's just i don't know if you can see it but it just looks a little more shiny than the other ones but it's just so and this material is like very you know slick it's not you know there's no but they it just looks so cool there's two different types of rainbow rainbow black and rainbow clear which i just used for brian ritchie a really, really nice guy who I met from another really, really nice guy, Kyle Shutt. Shout out to you. Holiday. Ground wire, nitrox. These are kind of like inverse-ish. Straight up orange. Got brown back there. Brown doesn't look as crummy as you might think very nice actually with the once again with the lead material for it safety stripe patriot yeah, let's get some focus going on here some tyler lepage rochester in the house rochester ogre um this is another fun part that i will show you that when they're all done and these are velcro um one something cable ties um but there's like 12 different colors and when i'm done with them and you know, photograph and whatever and um you know not just for that when i package them up but these are it, it's so much fun to it's like you know it's like the the finishing touch the cherry on top to pair this with the lead that is produced So here's the other, and there's two different sizes of Teflex Raymond's, the patch cables. Um, there's like 50 plus varieties and for the regular material, uh, for pretty much everything else that we make, there's quarter inch material. And that's what I'm showing you up here and in that cabinet right there. Um, hard to see, but olive drab. This is my first personal favorite. Let me see if we can get it in there. Beige with black. Red with black tracer. Hard to see this one in focus. It's all the way back there, but superhero. It's blue and neon red fibers. It's really cool. Um, checkered flag monochrome they call it which is black and white stripes um black with beige tracer it's called gray with white stripe black with spider tracer and then back here whoops 
So back here, I think you can see it's like, let's take this out. Black with red stripe. So back here are what are called the Uptown series, which they put, um, it's a black base and then there's a single like tracer as it's called up there, but they don't use the word tracer here. Uh, and these are the names that TechFlex, uh, the company gives the stuff. Um, Uptown Red, let's see if you can see. Uptown Green, Uptown Yellow, Uptown Blue, Uptown Purple, and then this one is really neat. They're very, there's only two, the Holiday, and then this Uptown Gold that used the, the gold material, but it looks great, especially with those metallic, gold housings, which I'm out of, but I think that she's going to make me more, um, that I was talking about, um, reggae snake, which is amazing. And I just made one for Adam Lev. Hip hop. This one is called Jester. Let's see if we can get some focus without being lazy and take it out. It's got purple and yellow fibers, neon yellow rather over that we already showed. This one's called Twilight, which is pretty sick. So, moving right along. These are the sum of the colors. These are all different sides. I mean, you're probably seeing some of the same colors because you are. The um, There's two colors in particular. And if you can see, it's purple with orange. It's really, really cool. But these are only for the Raymond's, the patch cables. And then a few more like backup hardware stashes. So these are also mainly also for the patch cables. So we have every color for that. It's like over 50 for that. And then there's like 60 or 61 for the other stuff. Um, lead material. This is the, the main one. 25, 24. These are all Mogami products. Um, they're made in Japan. The, um, the numbers that just correspond to what's inside and what they're used for, essentially. 2549 is microphone. It's a balanced cable. Um, you could use it for other stuff and just uh, not use third wire. When I, if anybody's received anything from me, like this. That's Alan Forbes, the great Alan Forbes. So these are for let's see if you can so if you can see that there are four conductors inside there plus a shield. And that is what I use for my Benny Decker, which is a five pin XLR lead that's um essentially used for series instruments. These are the wood housings, some mahogany ones going on, and then some maples. That's what you guys get to see for today, <laughs> Ray Ray Decker.